Treating depression, such a prevalent and debilitating, crippling dilemma of our present time, can in itself be depressing for us. And in the solution orientation, instead of trying to treat depression, we're more likely to explore with the, each individual person what's happening for them, what their experience is, what's actually happening, rather than to try and treat a condition. When we ask someone who is depressed to provide us with another word, to give us a description of what's happening, to let us know how their depression is affecting them as an individual, we will hear such um, descriptions as, I feel overwhelmed, I feel no sense of the future, I have no sense of purpose, I feel helpless, I feel hopeless, I feel sad, I can't sleep, uh, I've lost interest in my sexual activities. There can be so many different ways that depression presents that if we work with the individual and, and work at the level of their experience, it provides us an opportunity to connect with them as an individual and help them to individually be more connected with their own innate resourcefulness. So that if someone is, uh, is feeling overwhelmed, we might be able to, hypnotically to uh, explore how other times in the past they've felt overwhelmed and been able to resolve that. Or, or perhaps in addition to that, uh, ask them to imagine going into the future when they have resolved this issue and to look back and look back knowing that they did resolve it, perhaps working out how they resolved it, or maybe more commonly, looking back knowing that they did resolve it, and so they can bring that recognition back with them into the present time, and that can change their, their mode of uh, uh, anticipation of the future. Instead of being one of resigned or rerun of the past, that can be a very real a new set of possibilities. If someone is saying they're feeling hopeless, then clearly what is missing for them is likely to be hope. And we can explore with them where do they find hope? What is hope for them? When they felt hopeless before, what's been useful? And start to share stories and experiences uh, and evoke experiences with them to put them more in touch with their sense of hope. Particularly when we explore their likes, you know, if someone uh, perhaps likes fishing, uh, have they ever had an experience of, of going fishing and thought, this is hopeless, and then a fish bites? Or if they feel hopeless, and they don't catch any fish that day, but they go back the next day, or the next week, the next time, and they catch some fish. Uh, whatever the experience is, when we look at someone's functioning life, things they like and enjoy and are doing well, there's a great source of uh, opportunities there, great many experiences that people have that can be evoked, can be conscripted into the, the problem area and lead to some resolution. The client that uh, we're going to be part of watching in a moment, had had some clinical depression in the past, was not clinically depressed at the time of our conversation, but very generously allowed the experience of our conversation to be shared with us so that we can look and learn uh, together and explore how we can be more helpful with our clients. And although the depression was not uh, described as such, and was not inhibiting her life in any major way, it was nevertheless a, a kind of a niggling dilemma that had the potential. And as a result of our conversation, that future is very different. And there may be some aspects of the way that this conversation unfolded 
that you can, as you explore that and reflect on that, find ways of extrapolating to other situations that are more intense, more pressing, uh, and more uh, uh, dramatic. So I'm very grateful that we're able to share this personal experience with the opportunity that it provides for us to explore together, to learn, and add to our effectiveness with our clients. Okay, thanks for being willing to have this, and is it okay to record it for future teaching purposes? That's fine. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> so, what have you been up to? <laughs> um, working mostly. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Full on working. Yeah, yeah. Not much else. Oh, okay. But, but I guess, what? yeah, where I'm at in my life at the moment is huge transition time. Oh, okay. And I float in and out of feeling lost in that mm -hmm. and unsure. I kind of lose me in there somewhere. Yeah. And because I guess I'm, I'm also like physically, I'm not in a house yet. I'm, I'm in a house, but I'm mm. house sitting. So I mm. haven't actually established. You're in a house, but you're not in the be. house. That's it. Mm. That's it. Mm. My place. Um, yeah. So at times, I guess I've been going through a bit of depression with that. Bit and of what? Just the changes. Depression, I'd say. What do you mean by that? Um, yeah, it's just a word, really. Um, well, I know it's, it's an experience for you, but I'm not yeah, quite sure. Yeah, I guess I experience it as a kind of um, a heaviness. A oh, yeah. Sometimes it, it can even get to the point of feeling quite desolate. Oh, yeah. Quite... Um, like now? Like nothing. It's like coming now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can feel it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're probably not that keen to feel that. No, no. not really. No, no we don't no, want that one. No, I mean it comes sometimes, but yeah, you know, when it's there, it's there. But yeah, you don't need more of it. No. So, <clears throat> did you said you said you wanted to experience was a catalepsy or arm levitation or yeah. what? Which isn't it both the same? Well, I don't know. Arm levitation means more of a movement, and oh, catalepsy right. is a kind of a of that. Like that. Okay. <laughs> so let's let's try let's try for the arm levitation and yeah, we can okay. yep. and see we might have some catalepsy as well. So make my job easy if you could get your feet on the floor. Yeah. <coughs> That's it. And if you could place your, your arms so that your elbows are there mm -hmm. and the tips of your fingers almost touching your thighs, not quite, no bit closer than that. That's it. So that they're just off your thigh. Mm -hmm. Now if you could um, just pay attention to the experience in your hands. That's it. And notice any tendency that might be there for your hands to lift. Now I don't know whether both are going to lift or one. Looks like your right hand is lifting and <clears throat> you might be interested to notice that as you breathe uh, it's almost as if each time you breathe in it lifts, your breathing lifts that hand ever so slightly. <clears throat> and you can even have a, a a recognition of that, that somehow as you breathe in, the mere act of breathing in actually moves your shoulders and so your arms can come up with that. So, if you continue to breathe, you can continue to enjoy just letting that hand, and your left hand is also doing something. And it could be interesting to notice as that hand is lifting, that it's like it's happening by itself, do you notice that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not lifting it, so it must be coming from within you, but it feels as if it's just happening. Yeah, do you mm -hmm. notice that? Mm -hmm. And perhaps as that hand continues to float upwards ever so slightly, ever so slowly, slow enough so that you can notice that feeling that something's lifting. Mm -hmm. A feeling perhaps of lightness, a sense of movement in a very definite direction, and I don't know whether it would surprise you if it were to happen that 
that that hand could lift all the way up to your face. Would that surprise you? Mm -hmm. No. So then you don't know if it's going to, but you can now recognize that it's possible. And so that hand has begun to move along that, <coughs> in that direction, towards your face. And it's lifting. Is it feeling lighter? Did you comment on that? Mm -hmm. It is feeling yes, lighter? Yes, yeah. Okay. And I wonder if as your hand is feeling lighter, you might be interested to notice that some part of that lightness in your hand actually begins to translate into your mood so that you can start to feel lighter in yourself. And even though that hand has not reached your face yet, it hasn't got to where it's going. It's just uh, sitting, where it's sitting for the moment. It's going to touch your face, but it hasn't reached there yet. And at the same time, your left hand is moving. What do you notice about your left hand? Is it feeling light also, or is it heavier, or different, or similar, or what do you notice? It doesn't feel as light, it's tingling. No. It's tingling? Yeah. Okay. And you, you smile when you say that? Is that a pleasant feeling or amusing? What is it when you notice the tingling? No, it's just tingling. Okay, and that's all right? Yeah. Okay. Can you let that tingling just kind of float around your hand somewhere, or around your experience any way that it does? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and your right hand's continuing to lift. And if you were to look at any moment, you would hardly recognize any movement. It would almost feel as if almost could, someone could think, it isn't moving, but you can know that it is. And it's moved to a considerable distance off your thigh, but it's still got a long way to go to get up to your face, yeah? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the fact that you've, you've come some distance, but you've still got such a long way to go? How do you feel about that? Um. Is that okay? Yeah, there's something in there bothering me about that, but okay. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, can you just allow yourself to be bothered by it for the moment? And yeah. uh, maybe as you sit with that botheredness, something will begin to mm. either become clearer or perhaps the botheredness will disappear or maybe you know, you'll start to find out what it is about that. Put your hands, that's right. And now what's happened then? You just straightened your, your body? What, what happened with that? Um, a decision, I think. Ah. Good. And having decided that, mm -hmm. you're now in a different position. Now your right hand's lifting faster. Do you notice that? Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're less bothered? I'm just more determined. Okay. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're more determined. And that hand is an expression of that. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. And so if I were to reach over <coughs> and do that, do you notice how your hand's not slightly interested in going down? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> in fact, when I release it, it, it kind of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a pleasure. <laughs> the expression of that determination, that hand is going to get to your face. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Sooner or later, that hand will touch your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not there yet. Mm. It's just sitting, where it's sitting and moving. It hasn't got there yet, but it's going to. Now when you know that it ha your hand hasn't got there yet, but you know that it is going to, and you are determined. How does that change your mood? Oh, it feels, um, I'm enjoying it. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. What happened to that botheredness? Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah. It looked like it disappeared when you made that decision. Mm. Mm. Now, as that hand's continuing to move, and you notice that the movement up towards your face isn't um, 
a smooth movement. There's a kind of a little bit of an up and down and side to side. It's not. Mm. Uh, it's not a straight line. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of wiggly line. It's kind of wiggling its way to where it's going. Mm -hmm. And your left hand is higher than it was. Is it still tingling? Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's as if your left hand is just uh, house sitting there. It's just sitting, <laughs> moving the bed. <laughs> yep. So that right hand, oh he. Uh huh. And can you just let that happen? Let your right hand move. And I think it might be an interesting experience. I'm just wondering how it would be for you if you were to find <coughs> that when your right hand will touch your face, that something very comforting can happen with your left hand. I don't know what that'll be. And it might even be nice if you don't know just yet what that'll be whether it'll move down or move up to your face to join your other hand or just stay there comfortably, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. But when your right hand will touch your face, then that can be an indication to you that you're ready to have that feeling. So that your left hand, which is just half sitting, when that right hand will touch your face and it will arrive, it, it can feel at home, your home, when it touch your face and the feeling of that. Mm. And you're determined. Something to do with your shoulders too. And the whole body's um, not apprehensive, but it's, it's, it's like the determination yeah. in the whole body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't get between you and your house. No. Hmm? <clears throat> you know, they say you shouldn't get between a snake and water. Apparently you shouldn't get, but you don't build a house, uh, you don't try and live in a house uh, where wombats um, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you heard that? No. Huh. No. They will demolish a house. If you, if you find a wombat run, and you put a house there, they will demolish the house. Okay. They will not go around, they just go through it. <laughs> Don't know what's funny about that. You should have wombat crossings instead of zebra crossings. Well, if there is a house and there's a wombat truck, make sure you put a, a, a wombat Absolutely. conduit kind of thing. Mm. Mm. I will. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know what's going to happen to your left hand when your right hand will touch your face? Mm -hmm. you know Don't know yet? Mm -hmm. So it's still just sitting there, it's just house sitting here. So your left hand is house sitting and your right hand is moving towards your house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's sort of more than a house, it's oh, yes. something else. Yeah, well the house is a symbol of mm. all that is. It's like your... To me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be at home with yourself, so to speak, mm -hmm. at home within yourself and share that in any way that you choose, but it'll be your home and you'll be at home mm -hmm. and you'll feel at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <And you> <laughs> it's a good thing it doesn't take me this long to put my makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> And if only, a funny shifting house could, could take this long. Hmm? If only shifting house could take mm. this long. Hmm. Some people are having trouble controlling their response to this. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a sense that you're, yeah, your hand's getting close? Mm. Not there yet. Mm. Your left hand, how's that? Something's happening with your little finger of that hand. Mm, 
very daintily drinking tea. Of <laughs> 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 it's, uh, it's Twinings, isn't it? Pardon? Is it Twinings? Twinings. Oh, it have to be Twinings. Yeah, cup of tea. English breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm getting impatient now. <laughs> Is that the first time in your life you've been impatient? No. no. <laughs> now, do you notice that the more impatient you get, the mm -hmm. more that slows that process down? No, I didn't. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because if I were to push that hand, see? If I push it towards your face, see, it bounces back. Uh -huh. In the same way that when I pushed it down, it bounced up. It's going to touch your face when it's good and ready. Not when you're ready, when it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your job is to know that you are determined, you are going to get there, and it will take the time that it takes. Not your time. It'll take its own time. And there may even be some comfort in that, some peace in that, some relief in that. There may even be some uh, rest in that, some not having to waste energy trying to push mm -hmm. something that's going to go at its own pace anyhow. The hand's getting very close now. Do you, do you have a sense of that? Mm -hmm. Do you know just how close it is? No. no. Is that okay that you don't know? You know that it's close, but you don't know how close. Yeah, that's okay. And it's going to touch your face. You know that. Mm -hmm. You don't know exactly when. I'm really tempted to dip my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you can be tempted, but your head will dip only if it will. Mm -hmm. It's not something for you to decide. But if your head decides to dip, then you won't be able to stop it. And touch your face. That's it. You don't know yet. Will it be your thumb <coughs> that will touch the side of your mouth near, side of your face near your lips? Or actually perhaps on your lips? Or will it be your forefinger? That first knuckle, will that touch your cheek? And your head's moving. Can you feel that? You notice your head's moving forward? No. Mm. It is. Yeah, but so it's like that. Yeah. That's it. What's <laughs> <laughs> mm. that Heathcliff and what's her name when they run together and Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> it's got this vision in my head in my hand going, Heathcliff, what was her name? Kathy. 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 He's <laughs> clear. Finger. Face. Finger. Face. <laughs> and we should have some Mozart playing in very slow motion. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Whatever mm -hmm. that piano concerto was. But you can get ready to have that sense of uh, all kinds of emotions. There'll be relief, there'll be vindication, there'll be appreciation, legitimising of your determination. That's right, very close to it now. And when that happens, your left hand's going to do something very comforting. It's going to touch your face. That's it, that's it. Very close now. Very close. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Launch your hand. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. And what is it about? Yeah. Yeah. Can you feel that relief? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all those other emotions? All that suffering, all that waiting, all that uncertainty, all of that, all of that, all of that. Mm. 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 Good to leave that behind, huh? mm -hmm. Good to let it go. Mm. And how 
close your left hand now. Very comfortable, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> What do you notice? How are you feeling right now? Um, yeah. yeah, relieved. Yeah. Um, you reach the top of the mountain, that mm. feeling. Mm. And climbing up the mountain, it feels like you're never going to get there. Mm. You know that you are, and you're determined to, but at times it feels like you're never going to get there. Yeah. It's nice to know that you are, and have the experience of it. Mm -hmm. And to know that you will not get there until you do. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you can suffer about that. Yeah. <clears throat> if you get a little bit too peaceful and you want to agonise a bit more, you can just think, oh, I want, I'm, I'm going to force <coughs> myself to do something faster than I can. If, that, if you're not suffering quite enough, you know, you can always bring that in. That's, that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Frank would probably have some helpful hints there about that. Oh, I'm sure he would. Yeah, yeah. Mm, certainly would. Mm. So, <coughs> anything more that you might want to say or might want? No, from that's probably where it is. Place to stop. Yep. Mm. Thanks, Jenny. Amazing experience. Uh -huh. mm.